Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for another What a Week. All the latest and greatest news on toy and pop culture for the week of March 26, 2021. I had to double check my calendar there. How are we in March already? That is absolutely wild to me. I don't know how anything or everything works anymore. But the good news is we got a lot of good stuff to talk about. Before we get started, I ask that if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider doing so. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. What a week, like what you're watching right now. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now to start it off, we have some upcoming Diamond Select Invader Zim action figures. There are three sets, two figures, in each set, and I'm very excited about these. Shout to Preternia.com. Please check them out. They do a great job. If you're big into Fortnite, definitely check them out. They know everything's about anything's about that stuff. But this, I had the original Palisades Invader Zim. I still do. I'm looking at them right now in over my uh, glass case. These are great, and I'm really hoping that these turn out to be, you know, they kind of seamlessly integrate into them because. A couple of the accessories that these things come with are ones that Palisades did, but the head sculpts and the looks for Invader Zim and Gurr and Gaz Dib, they're all new ones. So that's why I'm kind of like, okay, well, in the Palisades figures, you got multiple looks for each one, but we didn't get these looks, and I'm stoked on that. I think they all look fantastic. Hoping to see more, especially ones based on the Netflix Enter the Florpus. I really like that movie. I really like Invader Zim. I like that, you know, it's just kind of like a little small little niche of fandom, and I love it. So definitely excited for the action figures if you need them. And much like anything I talk about here on this episode today, I'll have links in the description below. Thanks for using my links. They help my channel to grow. A little rhyme I came up with there just to, just to get you <laughs> use my links. Anyways... This is going to be another McFarlane week. I feel like um, talk about a lot of pre-orders went up. If you need the John Stewart Green Lantern, it may still be available. He's up on Amazon. I happened into a Target store. This was now a couple days back now last weekend. But the new Masters of the Universe wave, was it wave four, was just sitting on the shelf. Not touched late in the evening. So grabbed Hordak and Triclops and Stratos and Ninjor, who is... The best named character. Like, I have a ninja. What do we name him? Ninjor? Okay. Sold. Package it. Let's do it. I have a video up now looking at all four figures. Master Universe, I'm not going to tell you anything about that because I know nothing. I'm purely enjoying this line because it's crazy. And for that and that alone, yeah, I definitely like these new He-Man origin figures. Also, hitting Target stores... A couple people are like, well, I've seen this for a couple days now. Well, it's the first time I saw it. So, yeah. Anyways, the new NECA Toys Ace Ventura Shady Acres Mental Asylum figure. It's when he's wearing the tutu and he, you know, he's walking around the, with the doctor and Courtney Cox. And he's <laughs> he's like, I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. <laughs> Watch that movie now. Tell me if that holds up. There's a lot of stuff in there. I'm like, Whoa. But it's still classic Ace Ventura, and that's all I'm looking at it as, all right? Moving on to uh, old figures. I went into my Spawn collection. So I'm going to be pulling out a lot more Spawn figures. It's been in anticipation of, you know, the Kickstarter coming. I finally got my notification that it's coming. It said it was supposed to be here yesterday, but no dice yet because it hasn't. Uh, it hasn't shipped from wherever it's coming from. It's it it's ready to go, but it hasn't shipped. But these were the Sam and Twitch Ashley Wood, the artist Ashley Wood. If you haven't ever checked out their artwork, please do. It's fantastic. This was from Spawn Series Twenty Five way back in the day. These I got at Toys R Us. I walked into Toys R Us one night and I had like. I don't know. I got, I just gotten money from, I did something. And I, you know, I, you know, when you have like a wad of cash in your hand, you're like, oh yeah, like totally. Um, but yeah, I got paid and I walked into a Toys R Us and, um, this, and I think it was, I think it was, a, it was either Halloween spawn or Santa spawn. One of the two. I'll pull those out too. I like the more festive spawns, but, um, yeah, I bought these. These were on sale. These were like six ninety nine a piece. I think if you bought two, it was something like the deal was like cheaper. So 
yeah, I came home. These were fantastic then. They are incredible now. Way, way just just beautiful figures. But it's funny because years later, I had no idea about this. I always thought, like, oh, cool, like Sam smoking a cigarette, you know, what are that on? Um, Walmart, in order for them to sell these, there was parameters put in place that Sam's cigarettes had to be changed to toothpicks. So I always thought that was interesting. I've seen the toothpick version. You can see on eBay. That's where I saw it, to be honest with you. Now, I found this out, like, years back. But... Um, yeah, it's interesting. They don't really look like toothpicks. They look more like teeth or joints, <laughs> to be honest with you, or just like nothing. You know what I mean? Like spiky white things, whereas these are actually cigarettes. So if you are a collector of Spawn or if you're interested in a little tidbit of trivia or pop culture trivia, yeah, there you go. You can get two versions of the Ashley Wood Sam and Twitch Spawn figures. That's a lot of information about two figures, right? And then also I took a look, like I said, at the Masters of the Universe Wave 4. And then this came from Entertainment Earth. This is the McFarlane Toys Bruce Wayne Snyder Cut Batman figure. A lot of feedback from people. Not really digging it, especially in terms of saying likeness to Ben Affleck, which I agree with. It doesn't look anything like Ben Affleck. However, for the sculptor of this, who is Brody underscore 3D on Instagram, please check them out. They do a lot of action figures, which you know you probably collected. So please check out their work. If you look at what he posted and the original mock-ups for the figure for the face, yeah, it looks like Ben Affleck, and it looks like it went through a change. It could also be the way that it was painted as well, although the hairline is different. It's, uh, you can see the noticeable change. It's unfortunate. Yes, sometimes this is the type of thing that happens. Rights, does Ben Affleck set up, sign off of it, you know? You have to keep that in mind before immediately always jumping the gun, like, oh, it doesn't look like this, it's terrible, blah, blah, blah. Well, okay, then you don't have to buy it, but keep in mind that there's a lot of talent that goes into creating these toys of ours, and sometimes there's behind the scenes things that you don't know about. So anything could have happened in this sense, but if you see the original designs for the figure, I'd say that looks pretty Ben Affleck-y to me. And who knows, once the figure's in hand, <laughs> that could also change. That's also a thing where you, pictures don't do the figure justice and you get it in hand, you're like, oh, okay, that's, that's much better. That happens a lot. So anyways, moving on, the Mezco Toys Popeye Five Points figure set is available now. If you want it, you get a little bit of a play set. You get four figures, interchangeable arms, hands, weapons, accessories, all that kind of stuff. If you're into that kind of thing, yeah, Popeye, it looks pretty cool. I, I think I'd rather have the Mezco Popeye if I ever get my hands on that. That, you know, a lot of people made me want that, so now I want it. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can grab it on Mezco site if you want. Now, I've been looking for this thing for a while. This is my, this is the only way I've ever had an Armagon Ninja Turtle figure, so to speak. And I have the new Super Impulse World's Smallest Ninja Turtles, and they look great together because this is like a little Hero Clicks Armagon. Yeah, this is the only way you could get Armagon for a long, long time. Ninja Turtles and Hero Clicks. Yeah, if you didn't know that. Really limited. Uh, I think I where did I get this guy? I got this off like an eBay seller, you know, a while back, something like that. Um, this looks great. I'm very excited. Armagon is one of. I read the Archie series as a kid. I loved that series. Still do. And a lot of what the Ninja Turtles I think about comes from there. Armagon was one of those characters, and he's fantastic. So I'm so stoked about NECA Toys making that character finally. And speaking of NECA Toys, they unveiled their Ultimate Shredder. Well, they did like a little teaser form. Ultimate Shredder coming soon to a sewer near you. That was for the 30th anniversary of TMNT2, The Secret of the Use. Can you believe that? 30, I'm talking about it being March, and, I'm, and now it's 30 years ago Ninja Turtles 2 came out. And just a second, I'll have a photo that they unleashed a couple days later of uh, of what the, you can kind of expect from the ultimate version. Again, McFarlane Toys went up on Amazon. They put up Wonder Woman first, right, from the Dark Father, build a figure, I'm sorry, collect to build. 
I got to get in the habit of saying that. Collect to build. Everybody say it. That's how you remember it. Collect to build. Dark Father wave. Wonder Woman went up first. Then the next day, the Superman, Death Metal Superman went up. So if you want these, you can still probably get them again. Links in the description below. This is actually really cool. I love, like, that's what I love about all the, it's just the glorious golden age of toys again. If you're a big fan of Where's Waldo, or if you're in the UK and you know what's up, Where's Wally? A lot of people here were thoroughly confused on that. Sometimes they change the names of books and characters to fit American audiences because we just don't understand things. Uh, Where's Wally? Where's Waldo? New figure from Blitzway is coming. This is also 5 Pro Studios and then also DreamWorks, which makes me think that the you know they've been kind of talking about a Where's Waldo movie for a couple years now. Perhaps this is to get us going. Like, hey, remember Where's Waldo? Ah, you like finding that guy? And the wizard and his little staff and the dog and Mrs. Waldo and <laughs> all those characters. So this is the 112 scale Where's Waldo figure. He's got a magnet on his bag, comes with a stand, really nice book stand. You can open the book and put all the accessories in and dig that a lot. Lots of articulation points, lots of different little accessories and such that you would expect for Waldo, and again, if you want them, links in the description below. You can get them on Entertainment Earth. I believe it's free shipping as well. If you know six inch scale ain't your thing, they're also doing a 12 inch one sixth scale. Where's Waldo figure? He's got cloth goods clothes, kind of sort of the same deal as the smaller six inch figure, but just a lot more going on in terms of the stand, which is a really nice swivel stand. Lots of Where's Wally books. Truth be told, I mean, in all honesty, I wish that he came with a book also that says Where's Waldo, you know, for, for us, for the for the Americans that didn't get it, you know what I mean? But um, I think he looks fantastic. If you pre-order ahead of time and, you know, do all the things, you'll get a extra bonus like winky eye face, you know, from the books. So it's a nice little tack on. So you can get him on uh, Entertainment Earth, Blitzway, all that kind of stuff. I'll have links on the description below. Going again with McFarlane Toys, continuing the Dark Father wave. The following day, they put up finally the Robin King figure, which is actually pretty cool. So definitely go and grab him if you need it. Now, Hasbro has been doing this thing where they send out emails and they go, oh, we're going to tease it. And y you have to be careful when you use certain buzzwords, I think, when you send things out like this, especially in emails. Because they had chosen to use them. Oh, this is going to be epic. You know, epic. You also have to keep in mind that there is nothing announced. I think I think it was disappointment, right? I think a lot of people thought, okay. But then you also have to think Hasbro makes more than just action figures and Marvel Legends and Star Wars and things like that. And usually when they talk about those types of things that are upcoming, they go, hey, Fan First Friday or keep this date or something else. So coming soon, April 9th, is the next big, like, Hasbro's Toy Fair, okay? So April 9th is the next thing where they're gonna show off all the crazy new figures, yada yada. When they send emails like this, it's not gonna be something that is like mind-blowing and brand enabling, and you know what I mean? It's This is gonna be like something you know, maybe something you collect, and that's how it's gonna go. But this epic drop to continue. <laughs> was the new Galactic Snack and Grogu animatronic. It's Grogu and he's, you know, you can put stuff in his mouth and he talks and he waves his arms. He's cute, he's adorable, does all these things. Be honest with you, quite honest with you, I think it's terrifying. I don't, there's something about it. It's not Grogu-ish enough for me. It's not adorable. It's kind of odd looking. So definitely not for me. Maybe it's for you, but I think the best part about the whole ad campaign for this was the kids in the trailer because it's they're just like, look, first of all, those kids are way too old to be playing with something like this. I know I say this and a lot of you have probably ordered it, but I'm not say, I'm just saying like kids are they're not they're not playing with this. And then the second photo was like, oh my god. Like it was just like total like like you saw you saw them being directed to be like, now be shocked <laughs> by what Grogu is doing. No, that's that's not a thing. Be authentic in the marketing. Come on. That's that's kids. No kid. No, that that kid and that girl, they're not walking into no 
Target store and going like, you know what I need? The Galactic Snack and Grogu. <laughs> now that I've ragged on it enough, which, you know what? I just think, I, in all honesty, I just think that the time has passed for Grogu. Grogu, as far as we know, is not even going to be on the show anymore. He went off with Luke Skywalker. So, yeah, it was fun. I have the little plush. I think that's cool. Sits in my collection. Don't need don't need an animatronic terrifying wakes you up in the middle of the night red eyes and all <laughs> yeah robot nah, i'm just saying anyways moving on neck of toys right they showed off more of their ultimate shredder so that's cool jeff trap who works on the figures painting it up all nicely there's a nice video online if you want to go and check it out but that shredder's looking good and it immediately thought you know now i will finish what i began with your ear and he charges this whatever that's a great movie god dang that's an amazing movie but um yeah neca with their sculpting process and everything really nailed the look of shredder when he looks all you know scarred up mcfarland toys again if you want the death of the family nightwing figure uh, but prior i had called it like the joker eyes uh, nightwing and then everyone was like no it's from that cover from a death in the family and i was like okay and now they're back to calling it nightwing joker so <laughs> if you want the joker nightwing go and get him here's a bit of a confusion so uh what like a week or two ago target put up their it's the joker bot mcfarland exclusive wave it's gonna have batman beyond it's got shriek and then you know a couple more figures that are coming but um shriek went up in two different spots he went up at the 25 dollar price point which yes that is the joker bot and then they put up the single version which is not a target exclusive which will be largely everywhere right but they use the same photos for both right so people were thinking and that's why i made sure to clarify when i had posted saying this is the 20 this is not the correct photos uh, they, they haven't released photos. The, McFarlane hadn't talked about it yet. So, you know, you can't post stuff, but the, the unmasked version is the single version, which is everywhere. Non-exclusive. There aren't three different versions, which again, some people thought there is the $25 one. This is where it gets really, this is the problem though. I think this is, it gets too confusing, way too confusing. And then company missteps with target and such putting stuff up. You got to make sure it's yeah, it's just too confusing. We got to work on that. We got to work on something less confusing for people. But to reiterate, $25 Target exclusive Shriek figure comes with the Joker bot. The single non-exclusive will be everywhere. Unmasked Shriek comes unmasked. There's no helmets. And he does have different sound blast effects than the $25 one to make it even more confusing. There are only two at this point. $25 mark, regular Shriek, masks and all. $20 unmasked, different blast effects or sound effects. So don't, you know, people are saying, oh, I got to contact McFarlane. They, they, they rused me. No, you can contact Target and say, why did you put up the wrong photos? And then you're just going to cancel your order. And then you can get either the $25 one or the $20 one. It's your choice. But in all honesty, to say something positive, right? Because I am thoroughly looking forward to to this Shriek figure. I loved Batman Beyond, and I loved the weird wonky villains, especially Shriek. He never had an action figure before. This looks fantastic. I even love they did the unmasked version, right? When he does all the business with Derek Powers. I'm strictly speaking the cartoon. I know he's in the comic book, but I don't know about that. Anyways, this looks great. Both unmasked and masked. Yes, I thoroughly agree with you. I think that they should put in the unmasked head in the box in the packaging no i don't think they should jack it up to 30 bucks you know what i mean i think you should do extra hands that's what i want to see going forward with mcfarland toys the reason being is that when you compare it to marvel legends figures marvel legends have years and years of parts and tooled pieces and that's how they can get at the 20 dollars mark with everything thrown in mcfarland toys just started last year they have to build up to that, and so this is how you do it. So if you love the line, if you like the line, if you like the characters, support the line. And that's, I mean, that's really the half of it, right? You have to give it some time before they get going. They have to do something else with the molds. Shriek is an entirely new mold. What are you going to do with that? You know what I mean? You're not going to repaint them into pink or yellow or blue, much like a Spawn figure, which we'll see in just a second. But that's really the low of it. So again, two figures. 
Shriek mask, $25. Shriek unmasked, $20. You pick which one you like. <laughs> Shout out again to Collection Obsession Official and, of course, the loyal subjects. We completed the giveaway. I gave away some eggs, alien eggs, for a little giveaway there, and it was fantastic. So congratulations to everyone that won. Your eggs are on the way, and uh, now you can have a really xenomorph Easter holiday. <laughs> Shout to GameSpot for the reveal. The new Space Jam, A New Legacy uh, is coming out very soon, right? LeBron James teaming up with all the Looney Tunes characters, much like Michael Jordan did back in the 90s, and it looks interesting. I, you know, Space Jam is it's, it's an interesting movie. The soundtrack was where it was at. Everybody who knows what's up had that soundtrack. But Moose Toys with Warner Brothers will be doing several action figure you're gonna have the basics you're gonna have ones that jump and shoot basketball hoops and then you'll have the actual action figure line multiple different sizes and shapes and all that kind of stuff for all of the figures so get ready for that they are slated to come out in around april and the movie releases on july 16th so we'll see how that goes I'm excited to see what they do with that film. And then finally up on Amazon, McFarlane Toys, the final figure in the Dark Father Wave. So it was like multiple days, you can get the guitar. I'm still calling that thing Plastic Man. I don't care. People are like, that's not Plastic Man. I'm like, well, it sure looks like. I mean, it it reminds me of Plastic Man. Why would it be a screaming guitar? That's kind of cool. Also up is the Bizarro figure. So if you wanted that guy along with Jon Stewart and all that from that wave, you could definitely grab him. Happened into my local Walmart, Super Shredder, Shadow Master, sitting right there. This, of course, is based off the Chef Boyardee mail away for back in the day. They had like the little Playmates Toys version in like a black deco. So this kind of harkens back to that. So very cool to see. McFarland Toys sent over some photos. This is going to be part of their gold label series. So exclusive to Walmart. Walmart may put up pre-orders for this guy at some point, but he is slated to hit shelves in and around the end of April. So if you want a yellow spawn, go for it. For me, I, <laughs> it's like, I don't have a yellow spawn, but at the same time, can we get, can we get maybe a new weapon? Because we now get the mace again, or can we get a, a different head sculpt? Something to that degree. All of these, in case you were wondering, come from like Mortal Kombat 11, different skins for the characters. So yeah, this is their Curse of Apocalypse spawn figure. It's, I've been calling it like the yellow birds kind of spawn. A lot of other people have come up with a lot other more colorful names. Ah, but um, yeah, it, it, it'll go in my collection, but uh, it's, it's not exactly what I want to see. It's the same thing with this one this now this one is confusing to me because of the way they named it they named it the lord covenant spawn and it's a blue kind of like a grayish white i like the color deco a lot more than the yellow one on this however they're calling it lord covenant now way back in the day for spawn the series the standard figures that came out Lord Covenant was part of what the final or one of the final wave of series 31 and he's part of medieval spawn and he's like a big gargantuan viking type looking spawn figure totally different as far as I know he doesn't look like this in the comics or maybe that's something new I haven't been able to see any evidence of that but it's weird to call it Lord Covenant spawn when it's a completely different character I don't know but in either case yeah if you want a yellow spawn or blue spawn we're just waiting for pink spawn and purple spawn and all the other. <laughs> Come on, we need some new heads or something. Weapons. Come on, we got to do that. Anyways, Amazon, if you missed it, Deadpool figure is up. The more like singed Deadpool 2 movie costume. So yeah, if you want that, you can definitely grab it. Mezco Toys put up a three pack uh, of, of Zack Snyder's Justice League figures. You got Batman. Which I think, in all honesty, judging off these pictures and such, if they're not photoshopped, this looks a lot closer to Ben Affleck, especially when he's wearing the the cowl of Batman. I do I do like the look of this Batman figure. I gotta give it to him on that. It looks pretty cool. The Flash, Ezra Miller, I think, if again, those head sculpts come out looking the way they do. I think that's pretty spot on. 
And then Henry Cavill's Superman. I think it looks like Henry Cavill. I think the costume's a little bit off. Again, I'm not a big fan of the black costume on him, especially since in the movie that it's not even alluded to. It's really weird to me. Again, I'm not going to get into Justice League. Maybe I'll do a video or something like that. If you want these, you can go and grab them. I'll have a link in the description below. Free shipping on Entertainment Earth. Now, this came out of nowhere. I've already made a video, talked about it till I'm blue in the face. Gargoyles is their new figure line. There are multiple figures in the works. They got about five, five or six going on, including Goliath. Pre-orders are up. Fantastic. Comes with a jalapeno <laughs> and the Book of Spells from the Magus. Yeah, that is um, very cool. Some people pointed out that he looks a little bit too muscular. This looks like the natural progression of things. So I dig this. This looks fantastic. So I got no qualms with it at all. I wish that, I'm sure they'll do this eventually. You'll have the wings kind of wrap around him like he's wearing like the, the cloak. You know what I mean? Like they did in the animation. Because that was always a cool way to kind of have a walk around. Yeah, if they want to do that eventually, it's great. 8 inch figure, 16 inches wingspan. If you need him. Go check them out, grab them, and I also have a video that looks at them more in depth. I put this together. I've had this for a couple days. This is the Lego Spider-Man versus Ghost Rider versus Carnage. I have not bought a Lego in quite... Like, I bought the Mario thing, what, last year, which was awesome. I saw this. I'm a big Ghost Rider fan. I like Robbie Reyes' Hell Charger and all that kind of stuff. It's a fun build. It took me, like, 30 minutes, but uh, definitely worth it, and it's really fun. To put together. The one thing is missing is flame glow. There's no glow in the dark effects on this Ghost Rider. Come on. That's a missed opportunity right there. Shout out to Lago underscore figs for the heads up. The Marvel Legends GameStop Gamerverse exclusive Aboriginal Hulk is up. He's 10 bucks. If I wander into my GameStop and they have him sitting there on the shelf this weekend for 10 bucks. I will grab it. Once, one, as some people point out, once you put like the shipping on, it turns into like 16, 17, something like that. 10 bucks is not a bad price. It's just that, and I agree with most, it, it's a wonky Hulk. I mean, Game Reverse is not my thing either. And then to finish up the video, as I was actually recording this, the new Suicide Squad, it's Suicide Squad 2, like asterisk 2, but um, it's kind of like a re not a re whatever you call re hash <laughs> james gunn is directing it it looks fantastic the secret villain oh my god that is so cornball it's amazing i can't believe they did that i am super excited and i am super excited to see what mcfarland does for these figures if they do them wink wink so <laughs> I'm curious to know what you guys think about everything we talked about this week. What was your favorite? What do you have to get? What's kind of like, meh, whatever. Go watch that trailer. It'll put a smile on your face, guaranteed. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have fun this weekend. Be safe. Take care of each other. And just, just have a great, great time. Treat yourself. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.